Huh. Is this really necessary? This is the only way for reform. Really? Uh, it, it just... I don't know, it seems a bit aggressive. See? I mean, we... Okay, well, alright then, I'm ready. Mm. So this is gonna be like the the new foot measurement, right? The new metric foot? Out with the old, in with the new? No. Le excuse me? No, we will make new measurements based on science! No authorities can change it willy nilly dilly dally. No more abstract, only science! The people need structure! Why did we chop my foot off then? I am Larpor! Oh, okay. And I like the feet. Au revoir. I... I hate the French. And that's my rendition of what went down at the French Revolution. I'm missing some parts, like something about cake, uh, the Bastille thing, and mass slaughter that left blood running down the streets, and why it even happened in the first place. But it gets the point I need. They wanted reform, which included change for the imperial measurement system, thus the birth of the scientifically based metric system. But Ginger Pale, why should I give even one single hoot about that? I don't know why you're saying this stuff to me. Listen, you little shit, and I'll tell you. Today, there are only three countries that still use the imperial system. Myanmar slash Burma, Liberia, and the United States of America. And the whole rest of the world uses metric. So I thought I should inform you guys of some imperative information on the inferior imper imperial s I'm gonna tell you some stuff. That way we can get everyone on the same page and using one really good, awesome, fuck, cool system. Good system. Metric. Okay, but why is that important? <coughs> At this point, maybe you're thinking, this is stupid. Well, can't they just coincide peacefully? We could have metric and imperial. And I say, no, that's stupid, because here's some incidents caused by mixing two measurement systems instead of using just one. The Mars Climate Orbiter. It's a space probe rocket thing that's supposed to go orbit Mars. Uh, NASA used metric and the shipbuilders used Imperial. A few little mistakes in conversion and we're probably fine, right? It's not rocket science. Just kidding, it's fucking rocket science. Instead of orbiting Mars, it either burned up in the atmosphere or it's currently orbiting the sun. NASA lost $125 million and the Mars rover lost a potential friend and he still sings happy birthday to himself every year on August 5th. Then there was also the Gimli Glider. It's an Air Canada commercial flight going from Montreal to Edmonton. That's where I live. It had to make an emergency landing in Gimli, Manitoba because it didn't have enough fuel. Why? Well, the fuel gauge was broken. They had to do a little manual calculation for fuel, but the guy who figured out how much fuel was supposed to be currently on board used pounds per liter when he was supposed to use kilograms per liter. So they thought it had more fuel than it actually did. They didn't put enough fuel in, and I'm sure that freaked a bunch of people out. And then we got the Vasa warship. It's a big boat. It's a really big boat. Uh, something about different workers made different parts and they use different measurement systems, and then the boat sinks on its maiden voyage barely a kilometer out to sea, and 30 to 150 people die. So why, why, why do I think this is important? I just think we as people like to save money, not be scared we're gonna die, or actually die due to some measurement mix-ups. So what's up with each system? What, what, what are they all about? Each system has its own way of measuring length, which is distance, mass, which is weight, kind of, and volume, which is the amount of 3D space inside a container. Metric uses meters, grams, and liters respectively, then adds prefixes to denote their size, which are all multiples or divisions of 10. While Imperial uses inches, feet, yards, miles, pint, quart, gallon, ounces, pound, tons, hand, Hands, toes, teeth, jar of pee, my cat, monkey, and this is my dad. Uh, they use a lot of different units, and it's a lot to memorize. I got this tiny, smooth little brain. If I stuff anything else in there, I'm gonna forget something important. So I'm gonna recite my social insurance number now. One, three, seven. Ah, bah, don't do that. Who are you? A, l a lawyer or uh, common sense or something. Oh. One, three, seven. Anyways, next we're gonna talk about base ten. Ten, like fingers. See? Ten fingers. The way we count is called base ten, probably because most of us have ten fingers. You count up to nine, then you add one unit to the next column to the left. Easy peasy, you all know this stuff. If you don't, well that's embarrassing. You should feel embarrassed. Anyways, main point, we count in tens. Now wouldn't it make sense that we use the same number system in our measurements? Well guess what? 
metric be in tens? It's easier to learn, easy to convert between units, and less random units to memorize. Metric is just like I have a meter. I need smaller units to measure something. I can multiply by 10. Now I got 10 decimeters. Decimeters still too big. Take one of those, multiply it by 10. Now I got 10 centimeters. That's still too big. Up and down sizes, you just multiply or divide by 10 to get a unit that suits your needs. It's even easier because the names are in the prefixes. Deci means tenth, centi means hundredth, and so on. And it goes the other way too, you can make them bigger. But imperial is weird. See, there's 12 inches in a foot, and then there's three feet in a yard. And then the average American person that I ask how many yards are in a mile does not know the answer. But it's 1760, does that make sense? No, but it keeps going. There's 12 fluid ounces in a cup. There's two cups in a pint, two pints in a quart, four quarts in a gallon. There's 16 ounces in a pound, 14 pounds in a stone, eight stone in a hundredweight, but there's also long hundredweights, but there's 20 short hundredweights in a ton. Point is, you just have no consistent difference between units. It's a bunch of numbers you just gotta remember. 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 One, three, seven. You bad boy, you know, next time you're gonna get a big smack. I might even give you it right now. Mwah! I didn't expect that. But where did all these weird measurements come from? Imperial has all these weird units based on random abstract objects. An inch is three barley corns lengthwise. A foot is apparently the length of the average man's foot. But like, I'm an average sized person and my foot sure as hell isn't 12 inches. And I'm pretty sure people used to be shorter in the past. So, I don't know how they got that. And a yard is apparently the length around a guy's belt or girdle, but like, you can see where that can go wrong, right? Metric also took an abstract measurement, but then we based everything off of that one. Like, for example, the meter was originally defined as one ten millionth of the distance from the North Pole to the equator through Paris. Simple enough, but then we backed it up by science to make sure it never changes by tying it to the speed of light. So now it's as simple as the length a beam of light travels in 1 299,792,458th of a second. It's easy, simple, get it through your head! Now look, it's not that I hate the convoluted and flawed ways of the Imperial system, or that the name Imperial comes from an outdated time of empires and a single supreme authority, it's just that- okay, it's kind of those things too. But more importantly, I just want us all to use the same system. And I just told you why metric would be better, but in case you need a refresher, I think this analogy sums up my argument pretty well. If somebody asks how tall are you, in Imperial it'd be like, okay, so I got this monkey, his name is Doug and I'm at least one Doug tall, but I'm probably not two Dugs tall. So I have this rat, his name is Chubbs. If we stack three of them on Doug, we're getting pretty close, but still a little short. So I have worms. Next, we're gonna use ants. They don't get names, I hate ants. We'll stack some of him on the rats and boom, my height is one Doug, three Chubbs and four ant. But in metric, it's just like, I have a monkey named Doug. We will use him as a base measurement for all units. If we need larger, we will use multiple Dugs. If we need smaller, we will take this knife and cut him up into equal portions divisible by 10. I am 126 centi Dugs. You see, it's easy. And if you're still not convinced, uh, I give up. I just wanted to get this out there because I saw a recipe in a book once called for an onion sized slab of butter and like a, a dib dab of salt. And I'm like, what, what the hell is a dib dab? But it, it's ridiculous, you know? Imperial measurements are just like any old thing you decide to use as a reference point. Like having a pea sized brain so that you can understand this stupid system. Anyways, I did a lot of research for this topic, then I used about 5% of it for this video, so here's some fun facts. The system we use for time, angles, and geographical coordinates predates both imperial and metric. It's from one of the oldest civilizations from 5,000 years ago called Sumer. It's a sexagonary or base 60 system. Wow. A micromort is the one in a million probability of death. Your micromort will raise by one if you drive 300 kilometers by car, go outside in a thunderstorm with a metal pole, or you do crack. Uh, that one probably raises it by a bit more than one. Neat. When the French made the kilogram, it was originally called a grave. Whew, that one, that one took a while. I'm sorry about that. Thanks guys so much for watching. I really appreciate it. Uh, I just want to say thanks to Antoine Delac for voicing the funny Frenchman to Willard the Worm for helping out with some backgrounds on the final stretch of the video, and to the Doodle Demon for helping with storyboarding and animation. Uh, links to all of their stuff is going to be in the description. I highly recommend you check them out. They're all really talented. Um, and that's it. Thank you so much for watching. 
Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Bye-bye. I love you. Bye.